Well, everyone, it is Sunday, and I finally get to share with all of you what in the world I have been alluding to for the last couple weeks. And I am really excited to share with you because I made some big changes. I said to hubby, hey, could I do something I've always wanted to do? Can we make a massive change in our life? And he was all for it. And I'm going to share with you today what my channel is going to be about. As you all know, I like the old things, the old ways of living. But what you don't know is, this is what brings me the biggest happiness and joy in my life. And that is going back to the old ways of living. For the last couple of weeks, I have been making changes. I have been removing most all technology out of my life. And I have been going back to the old ways. <laughs> but I had to share with you all the videos before that because there is so many big changes on my channel that I wanted to make sure I got all of the older videos out of the way. I no longer have a portable dishwasher. I no longer use air fryers. I no longer have anything that's modern except for one little toaster oven and a toaster. And we do have our refrigerator. And of course, I have the internet for all of you. I got rid of so much and you're going to see what my house looks like. On my channel, what you're going to be seeing is from here on out, it's going to be seeing how do you do things when you don't have electricity? How do you do things when times could get bad? With the talk of more shutdowns and things like that, I realized even before all that, that I wanted to go back to the old ways of living, the ways that found me the happiest times of my life. And what better way to share with all of you than on YouTube. Everything you're going to be seeing is made from scratch. Everything you're going to be seeing is basic pioneer skills. Every single video, seven days a week, is going to be old fashioned. And I'm really excited to share with all of you this. This is my passion. This is where I am the happiest. And this is where I feel like I can show you a different life. We don't know what tomorrow's gonna bring. By the time this video comes up, we don't know what the world will be like. But I do know some things, and I know some things that hold true with me. Things that are, are good, kindness, things that are peaceful, things that are teaching, things that are a adventure and going back to the old ways you can't go wrong with any of those things and that's what my channel is all about i am going to come into your home and it is going to be so much fun <laughs> i've really been living this way for the last couple weeks now and even though i explained a few things here and there I did have to wait until all of those videos were pre-uploaded. That way I can show you the new life. I gave it all away to start a new life. Now I know many of you are going to have this question and I'm going to answer it right now for all of you. The biggest part of my life as far as making an income comes from being a influencer and reviewing products. I am still going to do that, but I give all of my products away. I have donated every single one of my products that didn't live up to my lifestyle. So in other words, if I would get an air fryer or something like that, that is a product review and once I review it, it is gone and it is donated to someone in need. I'm not selling any of my products. I'm not making any money on those products. After I review them, I'm going to give them away and that way I can bless other people. I need to keep my second job simply because that's what pays my bills. But my passion and my lifestyle is this. And I'm super excited. I am super excited to show you my home. My home is totally went through a whole cleaning and rephasing. If it meant something to me, I kept it. It was old, I kept it. If it was anything modern, I gave it away. And I'm blessing so many people through it. So what else are you gonna know? Well. How do you do preserved food when you may not have the refrigerator? How do you make bread if you have no yeast? How do you make homemade noodles? How do you make homemade bread without the bread machine, without the noodle maker? How are you going to preserve foods the old fashioned way? 
all of these things I'm going to bring into life in my videos. They're not just videos to watch, they're teaching videos starting with the very first day and that's tomorrow. I am deeply, I am so happy, I am living in my element and I'm spending each day the way I know the Lord wants me to spend it and I am learning so much through it all. We're going to bring back memories of my family. I'm going to show you photos. Everything, even the bowls and the plates that I use are going to be vintage or replica vintage items. We are going to go to the thrift store every week and we're going to find vintage items. We are going to go to the Amish grocery store and only buy Amish items. It is going to be so much fun. I am reinventing my channel and in the world, of all of these YouTube videos, this is what I want to do. And this is how I want to live my life. Just one day at a time. And that's why I have this oil lantern out for all of you. This is what started my passion because it was a necessity in my life. And this is what's going to bring it back. I feel like even if we would ever have another lockdown, people will need to learn the old skills. The old skills are great. It's beautiful. It's so healthy for your mental health. It's just, there's nothing, there's nothing I can say negative about the old ways of living. So I'm really excited to teach all of you from the old books, from the old ledgers, from Grandma Fanny's diary. We are going to step back in time and it will be for every video. Is <laughs> These videos are highly interactive and they take a lot of editing and a lot of work, but I couldn't be happier because I am absolutely loving the life that I'm living. Take care, everyone, and we'll see you guys again tomorrow. And here's just a sneak peek of how different my house has looked.
to those of you who are observant, you're going to notice that there are no chickens in my lovely chicken house. I am taking this moment to share with you that back this summer, we had a mother fox and her babies move into the neighborhood. I became very concerned as they became more and more familiar with our area, and I was not going to have a situation that I had a few years ago. So we scooped up my beautiful chickens and we gave them to our daughter and her children who only live a mile down the road and I get to see my chickens every week. I will not say this is a permanent situation, but only about two blocks from our home, they tore out acres and acres of woodland to put in some major buildings. And so all these wildlife are coming into our neighborhood coyote, foxes, all kinds of wildlife. So for now, this is the best situation that I can have. And they already have chickens. And so you will be seeing them in future videos. While I miss them, I was not going to have that tragedy that I had years ago.